guys, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and these are your December 2015 and 2016 overview readings. And for this time, I'm going to be using a whole bunch of different decks, <laughs> depending on your sign. But um, definitely for the month of December, I will be pulling a color card from the Inna Seagal uh, Secret Language of Color Oracle Card deck. And then... I might be using for your sign. I think I'll be using these for the for the year, I think, for 2016, because it just feels it just feels right. <laughs> so the Angel Chatter Archangel Oracle deck by Christine Alexandria, who you know I love. <laughs> so there's that one. Maybe the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Because there's a lot of stuff to read here at the end of the year, so I want to have like lots of different <laughs> decks so it doesn't get boring right and we don't have a whole lot of like repeating cards and things like that so also the angel feather oracle by michelle newton or maybe the angel therapy oracle cards by doreen virtue and if you would like a personal reading with me this is a very busy time of the year for me i'm going to keep that wait time at 20 days i know people have a problem with that <laughs> already and i get it you know it's kind of you know having to wait three weeks for a reading i know that can get a little like come on come on but there are people out there who have year-long wait lists oh yes <laughs> so um yeah so if you want to get in line for a reading go ahead and do that uh it's angelsouls444.com go to the services page and of course if you would like to support me on patreon i will leave all that information down below. Oh, I also wanted to mention the artwork behind my head. This is from Sonia Shannon. I don't know if you can see it all that well with my big head in the way. <laughs> it's really beautiful and she even has a message going around the border. I highly recommend that you check her out and I will leave her website down below as well. So let's get to it. Hi there Libra. Let's see what's going on for you for December 2015 and then we will go into your 2016 overview. All right, so let me just focus on your energy here. I feel a lot of expectant energy, like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> What's it going to be? What's it going to be? We got purgatory. We've got love. We've got confusion. Good job, Libra. <laughs> okay. And we got the messenger. <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. Oh, my. All right. So watch the pushing. That's kind of coming through. Whatever you're pushing on, um, whatever you're feeling kind of anxious about, it's it's not going to serve you. you got to kind of come back a little bit. Okay. So the first card we have is purgatory. And I think this is where you feel like you're you're at. <laughs> in December where it's just like man I am so done with all these problems do they have to keep going you know like what the heck's going on but look at this card okay purgatory can in fact be a beautiful restful place right you don't have to be back there and you don't have to be over here you can just be right now <laughs> and look at the light coming out of there and all the beautiful colors surrounding it so this is not something that you should um if you, if you feel like you're in that place of in-between, try not to balk at that. Try not to, um, you know what I mean? Like, try not to see it as a negative. It might be something, yeah, like they're saying you might come, say it again. A bunch of things came in. You might come into a peaceful place, that's one. It's a reset kind of place as well. Yes, thank you. So while you're in purgatory, things are developing in the way that they need to, to sort of make your path the nicest it can be okay so um it's a gift i guess is what we're getting at so embrace that gift the next card we have is love and love is love of all forms this is feeling the love of family but this could be the first i'm feeling is would be people in partnership already a deepening of love some of you who thought you were going to get divorced or who thought that your marriage was on its way out I don't, I don't, um, for some of you now if you're sitting there don't you know if you're one of the people who's in the middle of an angry divorce you're like I don't want to okay then that's not you <laughs> if you want to get divorced go ahead and do it but for some of you um, there's a reconciliation coming in December so okay there it is but this is love of all kinds definitely and this is um, yeah people loving you for the work that you do so whatever it is that you've been putting out there, <laughs> this is even like that boss that doesn't like you. They're like suddenly like, oh, I value you so much. And you're like, whoa, what? 
who are you? <laughs> you know, it, it's going to be like love coming from unexpected places. And again, for some of you who are single, um, you might have a friend that you haven't heard from in a while come back and go, hey, I've had feelings for you for a very long time. Don't be afraid. Don't be, this, could, this could, in some cases, even be someone that you dated for a while, for some of you. Um, but you just thought it was just dating, and here this person actually had had some deep feelings for you. So again, everybody's situation is going to be different, but whatever ends up happening this month, it does lead to a lot of confusion because <laughs> you're like, well, this changes everything. I was all ready to get divorced. I was ready to take all of your money. And now maybe I still love you. I'm confused, you know, or I thought you were out of my life. I thought we were not going to do any more dating and here you are. And I don't know what to do with this <laughs> kind of energy, right? So remember, we've got that purgatory thing. We've got the whole confusion. These are not necessarily bad places to be. Embrace it, okay? Confusion is just a bunch of options being presented to you, and it's asking you to look a little deeper, <laughs> okay? So just um, embrace it, even if it's uncomfortable. Who said life has to be comfortable all the time? That discomfort is what kicks you into action more often than not. And if you think about it, when you're falling in love with somebody, I don't know about you guys, but it is really uncomfortable for me. I get like really freaked out about it, but <laughs> you know, cause it's like a lot of pressure. Um, but you know, if even the beautiful things in life, there's always that bit of, um, where's this heading and what is this? And I, I don't feel completely comfortable with it just yet. So again, embrace it. It could be a really fun and good thing for you. All is not lost, okay? You will not be left to your own devices in December. We have the messenger. And the messenger says, now if you just open up, if you can just stay in a calm enough state, okay? <laughs> um, you will hear the messages that will guide you. So somehow some comfort is going to be brought to you through angel messages or even the angels sort of feeding messages through other people right? So, um, see if there's anything else on this, but you got to be in a state of calm. Yeah. So if you're one of these people that just, you just run away with confusion, like you start to feel the slightest bit of, oh, it's out of my hands, it's out of control. And you start spinning. Eh, yeah. You're gonna have a hard time. Okay. So don't be that person. <laughs> okay. So let's get on to the color card. Your color card is gray. Yeah. Gray is, it's not white. It's not black. It's somewhere in between purgatory, confusion, you'd be okay. You'd be okay, I promise. Learn to scan your body. 29. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so there's going to be a little bit of coping, a little bit of, but I don't feel like it's like bad. I don't feel, again, it's it's like nice options, I think, coming at you. Um, if I may go back to that example of maybe a, a reconciliation between a couple that thought that their relationship was over. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be any kind of relationship. You thought that relationship was over. It's kind of like, you're like, well, now I'm in this fuzzy place. Like what's going on here? Scan your body. Okay. Because your body will give you signs and signals about what's going on here. Okay. So <laughs> again, and you know what this also makes me feel like, don't let your body fall apart around you. Um, because a lot of people will let confusion stress them out and then their body starts reacting to that stress. It's it's no good for you, okay? <laughs> so just, you know, just try to take it as it comes, I guess. Now, I only have about six minutes left on this battery, so I'm going to try to get through the 2016 overview. I might have to edit in, you know, part two <laughs> onto your video, but let's see how far we can get here. These batteries just, I use a, a GoPro Hero 3. The batteries have like no life on them whatsoever. <laughs> All right. Angelic power. Aw. Movement. This is 2016. Strength. And forgiveness. Okay. Now, I feel like this is kind of a deep reading. I don't want to start reading these cards and have this cut off. So I'm going to stop it right here. And I'm going to pick it up here in a little bit. <laughs> See you in a moment. Okay, and we are back now. I have a fresh battery. <laughs> Hopefully this will last a little bit longer. So the first card we have up for 2016 is Archangel Michael, Angelic Power. Feel your own angelic being come alive. So over the course of this year, maybe that was some of the stuff that was going on in December getting you set up for 2016, 
you are supposed to step into your power. Now, this is also stepping into your connection with the angels and really just kind of taking it to the next level, maybe even spiritually speaking and being able to hear um, <laughs> what's the next step. Okay, you get your immediate answer. I mean, some of you won't even have to be in meditation. I don't think some of you won't have to even be in meditation in order to get some of that guidance. But this this angelic power is also about stepping into your innate beauty. Okay, now we are not angels people when they cross over they do not turn into angels okay they are completely different beings however however we have to have some bit of a cord to the angels uh, in order to hear their guidance so that's activating for you this year and if you feel like it's already been activated for you it's going to be an even stronger connection okay so it's it's this beautiful gift coming to you this year so let me know how it goes i'm i'm very curious to see how each of you will experience that so the next card we have is archangel sandalfin movement any form of movement will greatly will be greatly beneficial for you get going so really take care of your bodies this year but this isn't just about like this isn't a message just to get fit okay this is about moving the energy around your body you're having to shake loose some old stuff some things that just don't serve you anymore okay and movement is going to help you stay in your joy it can help again kind of um loosen any stagnant energy especially within your muscles that's why people love yoga so much because it is such a release and it's a stress relief and you know it um it's very healing too, energetically speaking. So yeah, and they're saying in order to access this angelic power over this, the course of this year, you have to be taking care of yourself. Now for some of us, <clears throat> we get into density and density expresses itself in a very literal way in our bodies. So anything that's kind of stressful or whatever, if, if you're putting on weight or whatever, whatever's kind of weighing you down, that's what the movement's for as well. So you're sort of, and again, it's not, the goal shouldn't be to lose weight <laughs> per se. The goal is just to shake loose any old stagnant energy, especially painful energy that just doesn't serve you. Okay. The next card we have is Archangel Jophiel. Strength. You can do this. <laughs> okay. Feel your personal strength. Build physically, mentally, and emotionally. Look at this. It's a very healthy year for you guys. Like you're really turning it around. So like you're activating your connection to the angels. You are moving your bodies. And you're really clearing yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically. Okay? Now, when you are in that open space, and if you, do, if you choose to do that, then I think what you'll find is... Your feeling about your existence <laughs> will change. It will morph into something else. It's it's like finding true joy in the smallest things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Finding true joy in the smallest things. And, you know, again, maybe something happened in December that really changed your life. You know, December 2015 coming into 2016. Something really set you up for a whole new way of being. And you have the strength to do this and your strength is utterly beautiful all right so let it come forward <laughs> like no more denying what you want no more denying you know what what you want to bring into your existence okay or thinking that you can't have it all right so the final card we have here is Archangel Raphael forgiveness when forgiveness is true you will rise up from the ashes like the phoenix okay but look at what that says when forgiveness is true and this kind of comes into everything that you're trying to accomplish this year right so if you're going to spiritually ascend you cannot take all your burdens with you you can't take your baggage with you and actually that reminds me of the painting i have right behind me this is from sonia shannon um you can see these people have their baggage and they're literally <laughs> Can you see it? They're literally leaving their baggage behind to get into their ascension. So you're going to have to do a similar thing over the course of this year, okay? If, you, if you're going to choose to carry um, hatred or whatever, that's that heaviness that we're talking about. It's going to really draw you down. It will not serve you, okay? So let it be healed. Let it flow away and open yourself up to whatever this beautiful experience is going to be for you over 2016. I'm very excited for you. But again, it could go 
another way <laughs> for some people who are choosing not to see it as a good thing and just kind of want to, you know, control everything or, you know, get really attached to outcome or whatever. It's going to, it's going to look different <laughs> to you. So try to take the lighted path, take the easier path. That's what they're guiding you towards. And I think you're going to have a really beautiful year, a really, um, a year that you're going to look back on and go, that's kind of when everything changed. So enjoy. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Take care.